My name is Laza Cillo. I'm the founder and one of the volunteers of the Martonarun Museum, which is a small community museum uh, opened or working in a village in Transylvania, St. Dominic in Romania and Csikszentmihalyi in Hungarian. And it's a museum dedicated to the memory of Bishop Martonaro, who was one of the outstanding public figures of Transylvania's 20th century history. Marton Aron uh, was a Catholic bishop of Transylvania. He was born at the, the very end of the 19th century and he became a bishop in 1939. He lived through the 20th century and he was a bishop, so a very important public figure of Transylvania for almost half a century. Actually, we could not really uh, talk, or people were not really supported to talk about Marton Aron until 1990, so the fall of communism, as he was considered one of the biggest enemies of the communist regime in Romania. But after 1990, people started to speak openly about him, started to pick him as one of their examples, and there were several statues in the public squares for him, and also there were a couple of institutions named after him, like schools, the school in this village. When we uh, make an overview of his life, we actually make an overview of the history of the 20th century Transylvania. So we thought we could make this double mission, like uh, try to be bring uh, his teaching about tolerance, about love to the people, about peace, and we, we could also teach people about a bit about history. Our first focus was young people, and we wanted to transmit uh, these um, messages of Marton Aron mainly for the, to the younger generations, because the older people still have the memory of seeing him and listening to his speeches. This museum is um, mostly for visitors from outside of the community, because usually when a group of children comes uh, to the museum and we do certain activities with them, they won't come back again in six months because um, the, ex the exhibition doesn't really change that often. So that's why we decided to open this space where we are sitting now, which is a pilgrimage and community center. And this one is exclusively dedicated to community programs, uh, exhibitions, uh, concerts, uh, small concerts, uh, uh, after school programs, after school activities with children. We have like piano lesson or language courses uh, in the afternoon here. We made a survey uh, last autumn involving lots of members of the community, so a few hundred people responded to our survey and they had really good ideas what we shall do here, how can we involve uh, local people in the activities going on here. Our first target obviously are children and young people, but we have uh, recently organized also training sessions or workshops for parents or positive parenting, for instance, in collaboration with the Spectrum Center. We occasionally make like exhibitions, painting exhibitions from the works of local artists, local painters, or uh, we do uh, like a project contest for, for children where they work in group and then we exhibit their work in this space, so I think it's a great place of lifelong learning and community building. Actually, the organization who uh, opened the museum and this community center is a 100% volunteer organization, so we don't have a paid staff at all. Everyone who contributes to the everyday running of, of the program is a volunteer. We occasionally uh, invite paid uh, staff for certain projects like um, uh, presenters or keynote speakers or similar. But those who do, do the everyday business, who organize local uh, community activities, who ask uh, local communities about their needs, who do the cleaning, who invite uh, visitors to the museum or leads groups in the museum or guides groups in the museum, all, all of them are, are uh, volunteers. So we have quite a big base of volunteers. And we try to involve all the, all the time young people as well, because they are the next generation and they are who, who have more time to devote to community programs. And I think it's really important to teach young people that this kind of volunteering, these random acts of kindness are really good, uh, not only for the community, but also for the kids themselves.
what I really hope as an impact for, for this project is to teach people to believe in themselves and to teach people that it's fine to support each other and the competition is not, uh, not everything. So we can do more if we support each other and not compete with each other.